Well, fifth, I think I need a new wheelbarrow. Oh, well. Look at what's done. <laughs> Not bad for a plumber. Go ahead and critique my concrete work. I don't care. Half of it's going to get covered up with dirt anyway. no actual holes all the way through it just voids on either sides and you got places like that that are kind of not very dense let's put it that way most of the corners look pretty good Yeah, you can see, hopefully. Yeah, it's gonna be a weak spot right there, but yeah. overall, I'm not dissatisfied with the, the uh, wall. little booger <laughs> yeah it helped out a lot yeah there it is there's the concrete walls pretty dang straight if I do say so myself yeah. and then over here whole bunch of these are going to go in the ground after I till it up over there one good time. It's about a 50% native soil, 50% compost mix. So, I, the way I gauged it was I put four inches of native soil in there, or left that four inches of native soil in there, I should say. And then just put four inches of uh, the compost I had in the middle bed on top of it. It's just been sitting there since you know until I get finished with all the concrete work, which I'm pretty much done with it now. So as it sets, it's ready to be tilled and planted. And then before winter hits, I gotta put the bubbles on them. But eh, one project at a time. <clears throat> tripping over stuff I'll clean up tomorrow after I get everything planted but where those cinder blocks are that's sort of laid out to where I'm gonna put the next med uh, it'll be the new middle bed and then this right here is my compost area where I've got the two tubs buried in the ground and uh, all of these logs majority of these logs I should say are going to be used as the walkways in between the beds but this area right here for the most part is going to be stripped down to nothing and uh, will be a third raised bed here it'll be a little bit smaller but eh. who says everything has to be the same size anyway uh, all the compost 
that's in said third bed area right there is going to come back here. I'm going to run it through this monstrous sieve sifter and take out what's left and put it somewhere else. But this will be hopefully a fourth raised bed area that maybe I can put some stuff in. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to see what happens. It depends on when I get out of here. All of that stuff right there. Show you what it is. It's just a bunch of rocks and junk. I'm going to sort it, run it through that, run it probably through that one right there. It's got half inch squares on it. And didn't get what I can out of there. Put the gravel in the driveway. And that'll be that. Uh. Let's see, give you an idea of what I got going on here. This is the proposed layout for the cardboard area. And I'm still in the process of laying out cardboard, but I've laid out everything I've had given to me and whatnot. Quite a bit of cardboard, you can tell. And I took all the dirt that I'm digging out of the bur the uh, garden area over by the greenhouse, and I'm putting it on top of it, weighing it down. <laughs> then I run it over a couple times with the lawnmower. And then the idea is put a bunch of pumpkins out here and let everything weigh it all down, and you know keep everything in place, and then compost it up next year or this winter sometime or something other to that effect and hopefully next year this will be a good good garden area get up close of my uh, sign here I had to put coming soon I didn't want people to be all where's your produce at where's your produce at it's growing buddy it's growing <laughs> Yeah. Getting there. Yeah. Traffic. Gotta love it. I'm I'm pretty proud of it. This is uh amateur concrete work. I feel like I did pretty good. I, I need to make sure I do a better job of packing it in the uh, in the areas in between, not letting it get dry and stuff like that. I think a couple of the areas might have got a little too dry, but for the most part, yeah, I've about an eighty percent approval rating on my part, but. I'm usually very critical on my work anyway. <clears throat> I mean, like I said, not perfect, but I know to make the mix pretty soupy so that way it just flows in there and I've got to make sure that the bottom of it is pretty pretty packed in so that way it doesn't flow out and I waste concrete. Alright, this video is long enough. I'm going to cut it off, guys. <laughs> I'll send some more uh, slideshows your way once I get some more work done. I'm about pooped for the day. Boogaroo signing off.